Hi, my name is Justine Haupt. I'm 34 and I'm from Eastern Long Island. And at work, I develop uh, instrumentation for cosmology and astrophysics uh, at a national lab. So I'm basically an engineer. I first had this idea to make my own phone about three years ago. I was really kind of sick of, of the other options and, um, and I thought, well, I, I could make my own phone and I could make it really go all out with it and, and even put a rotary dial on it and I, could, I can do that. And, I, and that's when it started about three years ago. Although it was a back burner project for a long time, I only just, just worked on it again a few months ago and finished it up. So I wanted to make my own phone because I, I don't like smartphones. I don't like texting, and I think the user interface design for the touch screens on smartphones is, is stupid. I wanted something that would be a functional phone that would be entirely mine, that I could have complete control over, uh, and that would be tactile, as tactile as I could imagine, um, while also being quite usable as a real phone. It would have a better reception than, than a smartphone. It would fit in my pocket, which actually full-size smartphones wouldn't. Um, and actually, I can call my contacts faster with this than with a smartphone. I don't like modern smartphones because they facilitate this culture of hyper-connectivity. But not only that, they're so finicky. You know, you, you, I don't, I'm never really sure if an application is really open in a background or not. Um, it, they often do things you don't really want them to do and, and um, they, configuring them and, and the overall functionality is all kind of mysterious to some degree. It does not text, that's by design, although you could imagine ways of texting with a phone like this. It is my primary phone and I use it as a phone. Hi, Izzy. Hi, Justine. How are you? <laughs> I am pretty good. I'm calling you on my phone. 